I'm just gonna jump right into it. Here's the 10 most popular questions that I get asked as a data scientist and my answers to those questions. Number one is, Greg, why do you hate R? And the answer is I actually don't hate R. I think it's a fine programming language and it's actually better for doing statistics type stuff, but I don't think it's better for machine learning, deep learning, but most importantly, just stick with one and uh, master that. Number two is how much work do I do in a single day? People seem to think that I have like this crazy work ethic where I work like 14 or 16 hours a day and it's really not true. I work nine to five standard hours Monday to Friday, that's pretty simple. In the evenings, Monday to Friday, I do as much as I possibly can. And on the weekends, generally I pick one of the two days to do a lot of work. I just more so focus on trying to get stuff done every single day, working towards my goal, however much that may be. The most popular question I get asked is number three here, which is, Greg, can you help me fix my code? And the answer is probably yes, but I really don't want to. I'm fixing my own code to help as many of you as I possibly can. Number four is how do I get a job as a data scientist, either as a fresher or how to transition from one job to a data scientist or what is the roadmap? And the answer is that really I have this laid out in a video that is featured on my channel, Coursera Machine Learning Roadmap, so go check that out. But basically I say get a start in data science, go learn machine learning, then deep learning, then transition to the cloud and anything more complicated after that is great. Number five is, is machine learning and deep learning something that's difficult to learn or is it daunting? And the answer is, well, objectively, yes. I mean, there's a fair amount there is to learn. And if it was that easy, probably more people would be doing it right now. The secret is not to worry about whether it's hard or not. You just have to realize that it's a finite amount of things that you have to learn. Definitely an exponential curve here of learning because once you get it down pat, you can just start learning like crazy these new concepts. Six, how is life in Canada? Uh, it's cold, but it's actually very safe, so I'm a big fan. Seven is what are the most popular or best universities and colleges to apply for in Canada? And the answer is UBC, University of British Columbia. There is U Ottawa and McGill. There is University of Waterloo, which I picked five years ago. It served me and my brothers extremely well and the most popular and well-known University of Toronto but I'd actually place Waterloo ahead of Toronto because of its co-op or internship program. Number eight are what are the data science and machine learning certificates that are actually worth paying for because employers know these things. IBM data science and Google analytics are pretty good but I would definitely definitely get the machine learning one from Andrew Ng and the deep learning specialization description down below. Number nine is do you need to learn machine learning and deep learning to become a data scientist and the answer is I highly 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 suggest doing that lastly number 10 should i subscribe to your channel the answer is yes bye bye